If you're looking to take your understanding to the next level and you're not afraid to put in the work to becoming more proficient at using Unreal Engine 5, I have an upcoming masterclass that you'll definitely be interested in. The link is in the description of this video. Before creating our blueprint meshes and logic, we're going to do something that will make the creation process a little faster. Open the content drawer window and select the static underscore meshes folder. Once the folder is selected, you should see some assets within the static underscore meshes folder on the right side of the content drawer window. We're going to select the static mesh asset called sm underscore main underscore entry underscore door. The reason for selecting this static mesh actor in the content drawer window will become apparent in a few seconds. Now, let's go back to our Blueprint Editor window. We'll go to the top right section of the Blueprint Editor window and we're going to select the root of this Blueprint actor. It should have the word self next to it. Look for the green plus sign button with the word add next to it and click on it. This button should reveal a drop down list of other buttons we can click on. With the drop down list still active, find the static mesh button and click on it. The static mesh button we just selected is called a blueprint component. Remember when we initially opened the content drawer and selected one of our static mesh assets? Because we did that, the static mesh component name and the asset required is automatically generated for us. If we didn't follow that extra step initially, we would have to type the name of the component ourselves and go over to the right side of the Blueprint Editor window, look for the Static Mesh drop-down field and add our desired Static Mesh asset manually. 